What's going on everyone, Jitty Williams here. I've been spending the ASOS again. As you can see, came the other day. It's like, uh, I think it's four or five pairs of shoes, basically. I bought a few of them, a couple are going back, but I thought I'd show the whole lot anyway. And then, you know, if you guys like something, you can just let us know in the comments and uh, I might keep it. But uh, I'm just gonna stick, go straight into it. Don't wanna make this a long one. So I'll start off with these two here. These ones I'm keeping, these I'm not. They're just a little bit too big and they don't fit my feet that well. But I thought it was quite cool with the strap detail going across them. But I've been after some just black and white shoes like this for a while anyway. But um, for me, there's just a little bit too much going on and they're a bit too long and not wide enough for my feet, unfortunately. So they come flop off at the back. So those ones are going back, but uh, you know they do look alright. I'm not going to do any on feet, just because they are quite a simple silhouette. So I'm sure you can imagine what they look like. But yeah, those are going back. Keeping these, these fit like a glove, really, really nice. These will definitely feature on multiple um, mini fit Fridays and just like cinematics or anything like that because they're just a really clean silhouette. They're a bit like a common project kind of shoe, but they're just really comfortable with having the cushioned leather heel tab at the back and they're just a good color, like the dark red and the white. So I think they look quite nice and they've got a waxed rope lace on as well. So they're quite cool. But these two just came in dust bags, just for literally plastic bags like that. Nothing too fancy. £17, that's all these were. And the other black ones were 14 Pull them from the goodie bag. We'll see what we get next. Just come in the standard ASOS box. It's not bad quality box, to be honest with you. I've had some actual proper brands um, with worse boxes than this, so not too bad at all. Ah, yeah. These ones, if they fit, I think I'd keep them. They were £20, so not a fortune. That is such a copy of a Balenciaga, the new trainers they're doing. But I just, I like them. That colour is so in fashion right now. I mean, just wear all black and just have that one colour as a statement. I think it looks proper cool. It's a bold colour. I reckon you've, you've got to have some balls to wear it. But uh, I do, I like it. I think that pink is well in fashion as well. The only problem is with it coming in the autumn and winter, these won't fare too well. I would I would keep them, they just don't fit. Unfortunately, they only had one size left, and I thought, well, I'll try it. It's half a size too small, but it, they're just a weird fit. You need to go from half a size up. So it's such a shame, but it, it's a quite a nice silhouette, I think, and the colours are just awesome. So I will be keeping an eye out for more stuff like this. And I might get like a hoodie for that colour. Just I, I love it. It's so cool. And just coming like a nice ASOS branded wrap, things like that, but they're just, you know. Nothing too fancy about the box. It's from ASOS, they're not expensive. Um, £20 for a pair of shoes you can never complain with, really. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, the will have to go back. Part of the second box, some of them come with the elastic band on the top. Um, just makes it a little bit more awkward to open. Same packaging for all of them. This one's a little bit ruffled up and crumpled, it's much got damaged in the packaging. Um, if they're sending trainers out, it would be better if it wasn't in one of these bags, just to Boxes do get a bit tatted, but I suppose it's not the end of the world. Take that off. These ones here, I'm keeping. Well, I'm keeping these ones because I'm getting rid of these. Um, I didn't want two the same colour, and out of the two, I preferred these. They're a lot nicer, they fit better, they're wide. Um, the zips are purely cosmetic, they do open and give it a little bit more freedom, but it uh, makes it too baggy. But just a simple shoe, you can wear that with anything. Um, even, even with a suit, you could probably just about get away with it. Um, super simple, £14 I believe. A lot of this stuff was in the sale, you know. It's clearance from summer, but that, that's a timeless sort of silhouette, so I just thought I'd get that one. Once again, the package is the same as the pink ones, just how you get a cardboard splitter in the middle of this. But they are quite nice, and they're, they're, not, the, they're not the best quality in the world, but you know, they've still got stitching going around the bottom instead so of just being purely glue, so it's a bit better. For, it's a bit better than like Top Man, things like that, which you'd be paying similar if not more money for. So, quite happy with them and those I'm keeping. Alright, last of all, I can't even remember what I bought myself, so this is this is a surprise for me. Um, let me see, same packaging as the other ones. Ah, I remember, yeah. All this one is, it's a black pair of the pink ones. Once again, they only had a few sizes left in these, and this one's half a size too big for me. And I'm not a massive fan of it in black anyway. It's a bit too numb looking. It needs it needs one. It needs a bit of colour to break this up. It's a bit too dark for me. Um, but I do quite like the silhouette. Like I say, it's a Balenciaga knockoff, effectively, um, with a little bit of 
design changes, but effectively that's what it's trying to be, I think, the Balenciaga trainer, which is the same sort of style as that, but uh, whereas these are like £20, the Balenciaga's about 300 plus, so, um, you know, if you want to sort of get a similar style, you can go with them, but uh, these ones are going back as well, um, it's not as massive fan of the way these look with them being all black, but these will be more practical for the season that's coming up, but... I'm just not a fan. Um, same pattern as others. This one just comes with a disclaimer saying that some colour may fade and leak on all the clothes, but you know I think they just all put that in there just to cut their own backs. But uh, I'll put that in the box. That is that is everything from the shoe pickup. I'm getting I'm sending these back tomorrow. So in the meantime, if you want to send me a comment and say you must keep these, you must keep these, um, let me know and I'll uh, I'll rethink. But uh, at the minute we're keeping the the other black and white ones and these here. It's a shame, I want to keep the pink ones, they just don't fit, um, just too small, unfortunately, but uh, out of all of them, dead happy with these, these fit like a glove, super comfy, you can wear them without socks, there's uh, yet to find a spot where it rubs anywhere, so that's always nice for a shoe like that, because normally there's like a pressure point here or somewhere, but, but no, really good, but uh, quick video, as I said, I, um, I can't try to get them out as best as I can, whenever I try to keep it at least one, one a week. I've just actually been contacted by Muscle Foods, who's um, a big supplier of food in the UK for like protein, they do like fancy meats like ostrich and random stuff like that, they contacted me saying if they're going to send me out a package, so I'm going to do that and I'm starting, I've been planning on starting like a food section of the channel anyway, so that's going to tie in perfectly, I just thought I'd give you the heads up for that and we'll see when it arrives what actually gets sent out, but I've been JT Williams, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, see ya. Oh, 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 oh,